Hello, I am Drag, and in this video, I will be drawing a comic. Halloween comic, so happy Halloween. Hopefully this goes up on Halloween. If not, happy belated Halloween, or whenever the hell I decide to post this. So, this comic had a multitude of inspiration. The main two, like this the actual like scary jump out thing, was a story from college. It involved a study room. But JC wearing the Jason um, Voorhees outfit was uh, inspired by another artist I follow over on instagram and he drew sexy jason voorhees i'm like ooh, ooh, this got me feeling some kind of way i'm feeling some kind of way and it's weird you know it's weird because he's a serial killer and i don't like those kind of movies because they bore me to tears and mainly i just get upset with the characters and how dumb they are i did see this one funny thing on tumblr where it was like, oh yeah, just so you guys remember, in the second Jason movie, he got knocked on his ass on a train. And that scene, it was so funny. Like, it's so funny thinking about it now, because I'm like, scared to death. And then it just stopped the train. Or was it a bus? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter where they were. They just kind of, they, they pulled the line and the train stopped. And like, you just see this super imposing, intimidating figure that's trying to kill them in a crowded area just kind of fall on his ass so the story that um that happened was this was back when i was in college i don't know why i said back when i was in college back when i was starting college i don't i think it was my second semester it doesn't matter what semester it was we were um studying for an acting class and we were waiting for a um our friend for like we, what we would do was we'd always study before class, you know, like get the, get everything worked out. You know, like, oh yeah, no, I didn't do my homework. Yeah, yeah, here's the, here's the questions for it. The, oh, you're a lifesaver. And that is what we would do like every Tuesday or was it there? Tuesday and Thursday. I think it was Tuesday and Thursday. And that's what we would do. And also funny story, the side note that uh, what, what happened with that theater class was I was actually already in a show, which is really funny because I'm always in the shows in like, uh, like around um, Halloween, autumn, around that time. And that's always when I get the most commissions. I have no idea why. But it's like, so everything is starting up. That's when I get all my commission requests. That's when I get cast in shows. And that's also generally when I'm starting classes. So I was like, oh my God. I have no, like, what is, what is time management? What is time management? This, this, this is exactly what time management is for. Um, so, what, what was I talking about? Oh, where we were, we were waiting for him to show up. We were all in the, like, little study room in the library, and my back was to the window. There was a window in the study room in the library. And, like, of course, it's quiet, because it's a library. And all of a sudden, I hear this loud, um a hand up against glass and i was like <gasps> everybody else jumped and i just kind of like did that shoulder thing you know like when you like jump up behind somebody they uh you're like Rah! you do that behind somebody and they uh do that jumping shoulder thing that's what i did that is all that i did and i was like oh i guess he's here and then i look up and he's like coming into the room kind of giggling He's like, huh, I've never seen anybody jump so high without even moving. And that just kind of stuck with me all this time because I do, I don't, I don't do jump scares. Jump scares don't do it for me because I can normally predict them. I mean, I obviously didn't predict that because it's real life. You can't predict a jump scare in real life. Well, I mean, I, I guess you could reading the room, but you know, I was reading the chapter, so yeah i just uh it was just a very funny funny incident that happened with that and i still do talk to that classmate friend we would actually okay so this is let me explain this was like my second semester in college i think it was my second so let me tell you like this is how shit bad this is how bad my time management skills were i had a late night class and then the next morning i had the earliest class possible which is at 8 a.m but the class got out at like 9 so you're like oh well, well, what's wrong with that like that doesn't sound like poor time management i would spend at least two hours just talking to this friend of mine so i would realistically be getting home at around 11 on tuesday nights 
and I had a class at 8 o'clock. So I couldn't wake up at 8. I had to be there at 8. And I'm a social butterfly is... That's, that's the right word. I'm a very social person in real life, you know. And so that just kind of like, mm, that was tough. Poor, poor time management on my, uh, poor time management on my end. But you know what? I'm, I'm better now. I'm better now. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not better now. I try to be, but I'm not. Um, <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, no, this, this video was much longer than I wanted it to be. I think I might, what I think I might do is I'll, um, speed up the line art a little bit more because i know that people like mean, people who do watch these really just want to see the uh, the color jesus christ those colors okay okay i'm going to get on to this the um the background drawing the background for this i i had no idea what to initially draw for the background so when i figured out what i did want to draw i didn't want it to be um like outlined the way the characters are because i really like it when the out i mean when when the background is like realistically painted or well i mean this isn't realistic but you know what i mean like there aren't the, the outlines aren't as noticeable and the characters in front are like simple cell shaded i think i got that from pokemon sun and moon yeah, yeah, yeah. that's that's actually where that really became noticeable for me. Um, and they did that, and I really like the way that that looks. It just looks so crisp and clean to me, and I will forever like that. Come to find out, that's what they've actually been doing from the very beginning, and I just wasn't aware of it. Like, uh, cause, you know, it's easier to have a solitary background. And then, like, just have the character in front, and it saves a lot of time. And also, I, I have- I- I-, I I don't know what the ranch house looks like on the inside yet. I'm still figuring that out. I don't even know if they're at it. They probably are. Then that means that they're on the second floor? No, no, not the second floor. Well, yeah, yeah, I guess. I guess it is the second floor because there's only two stories in the house. I guess it would be a mansion. Jesus Christ. If it's that big. It's a big house. I'm just gonna say that. It's a big house. And I just call it the ranch, but like the house itself is big. But I really want this video to go to the end. So I guess, oh, so I guess I'll just leave it off here. Thanks for watching and listening. Make sure to like and subscribe and uh, comment below so I can artificially inflate the numbers of this video. Uh, give me money on Kofi because I'm a broke college student. And um, happy Halloween. Bye.